I am a Christian doesn't mean that I can go for IVF. I can go for IVF. Or I can do all the dissemination process, however you may understand it. I am a Christian does not stop me from doing it. Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you don't know, my name is Ivan Agade. Thank you all so much for coming, always to watch my video. Thank you for the like. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you, thank you. If you have been with me on this channel, I want to say big thanks to you always for always being there for me. And I love you guys. I love you so much. And please, if you are seeing my face also for the first time, after this after watching this video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button join the family and please put on your post notification that we get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you thank you thank you so guys without further ado let's get started so in today's video i'm going to be talking about a pastor's wife who went for insemination after waiting for years dedicating thousands of of babies in their church and later on waiting patiently with God after years but still no baby comes forth she went and do the IVF or the insemination process to have a baby and now people are mocking at this woman oh my god oh my god just because she's a pastor's wife or waiting patiently with God is not a bad thing okay remember that same Bible talks about that during God's creation it says that we should go into the world and multiply and there are some people who can have a baby through the normal process you know the society we are okay today that when you don't have a child when you don't have a child people mock you People will mock you. Now, this pastor wife wait, has been waiting patiently on God for a child and it did not come forth. Why are people mocking? Why are people mocking now that she did insemination and now she got pregnant, she had uh, twins and now people say that she shouldn't have gone to do that that it's a sin why can't she wait patiently on god my point is why are people thinking or carrying this bible like as if it's another thing why why are people carrying this bible as if it's tea for me i would do the same that this woman did this woman has been mocked. Do you know what it is to be a pastor's wife and dedicating a lot of children in their church and she has known and married for years? I'll advise you, please, go for IVF. Go for IVF. Because the society we have to add today, the society we are today are the kind, you know, the kind of people we have in this society today. There are those people who will mock you when you have this. The people that are still the same people who will mock you when you don't have. So, doing this thing doesn't make you to be, oh, I am not serving God or I'm going against the will of God. No. No. For me, I don't see, you know, this, uh, you know, having baby through this uh, medical process as a sin. No. Where I think that it's a sin here is that, like for example, I have a friend that is a lesbian, okay? They both decide, they married, okay? They are females. They both plan to have a baby, okay? Now, where I think it's a sin, okay? They both decided to have a child. And now, the sperm was not from another, like the sperm was from another person. Okay? And but they, both of them now, they have the baby and they're fathering, they're fathering the baby and they're mothering the baby. I mean, you know, they're taking care of the, the child. Now, 
that for me that is what i consider as a sin now a man and a woman get married or got married for years and they have no children and after waiting for a long time for god it did not come forth they decided to pay to the hospital take the, the sperm of the man and to you know for the woman the same they are both married okay legally married okay and put into the woman to fertilize to bring a child and to god be the glory the father they, they have the baby and people say now that it is a saint just because the pastor's wife was if she was not a pastor's wife another people do, does this thing it is normal I can still do it for the fact that I am a Christian I can still do it instead of me to wait 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 there are some times okay you know God's time is not our time okay because I still believe that God did not you know uh, uh, um, create us to be barren okay but sometimes situations you know uh, you know happened Okay, for us to not to have child in time or you know but if there is a process to get it in time I will go for it now they are not saying that because she's a pastor's wife she has dedicated when the pastor's wife did not have children they were still talking about this pastor's wife that oh she's barren oh she has dedicated a lot now the woman kindly went down and do this test and give birth to twins and now they are not still talking that it's a sin God why are people like this why are people choosing to be God when when they we have we just want God upstairs or up there looking at us people choose to be oh because they know this Bible they choose to be they, they, are, they are not the church of our the people they are now the role over the people just you just want to be God in our lives impossible now when on earth and when are we going to stop you know mocking pastors or when are we going to stop you know thinking see pastors they are human beings like us they are human beings just like you and I yeah if, for example, I, I'm the one that did this stuff now, no ears will hear it. No ears. For me, I will say congratulations. Anywhere, any means of you having the, or you, you know, getting the, your baby or having your baby, is this as if it, it was not going to stand? The in, 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 the in vitro will not go through. It, it will not work. Because there are some people who did thousands of times spend money and still they still don't have it it feels it feel it is not something that oh it worked for everybody i have known a lot of people who that have done it twice or thrice but it, it don't, doesn't work for them but what i call a sin is not what people see as a sin no me this thing is not a sin yeah because they are both married legally and it's the same god that this that that created spam also they call the doctor use the same spam for the woman because there are some people women or there are some men that their spam cannot go through the right if you are lucky as a man watching me right now that oh you shoot one stone and he, he hits the bed glory to god there are some that cannot hit the bed through one stone or through several minutes so I, I really don't want this video to be too long because it's like i'm talking like it's i'm i'm angry or like no let us do what the bible says let us not be judged over others let us not be god over others whether pastor let us let's stop you know talking about pastors let's stop think think let's let us know also know that they are humans blood throws, uh, flows through their veins let's stop laughing at each and everyone that is what i think and that is what i feel 
okay giving birth to through insemination is not a sin that is for me if you are if you disagree with me comment down below it is not a sin whether pastor or any personal the one that i call a sin is not what is a sin but this one basically this particular one is not a sin for me if you say it's a sin comment down below comment down below so thank you all so much for watching and i will definitely see you guys in our next video thank you please subscribe share this video comment down below your thoughts and your opinion about this issue and i love reading your comment thank you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye Stories I'm a fool for your love